Hi, I'm Andrew Sinclair with the Princeton Public Affairs Group. Welcome to this week's e-news update. This week, Governor Chris Christie vetoed a bill that would allow early voting at polling places. The measure is intended to address problems with the existing system experienced in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy last year. The Democrats blasted the move, calling it politically motivated and predicting it would suppress the vote. The governor, on the other hand, said the in-person early voting system created by the legislation was, quote, hasty, counterproductive, and less reliable than the current mail-in ballot system. Also this week, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation announced a donation of $12.5 million to Rutgers University to help cover a portion of the cost of its merger with the University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey. There is an estimated $76.3 million in uncovered costs for the July 1st merger. Rutgers officials have appealed unsuccessfully to the state to help pay for the integration of the two schools. In a controversial move this week, the Council on Affordable Housing allowed the Christie administration to seize $140 million to help balance the budget. The money was originally set aside for affordable housing purposes. On Monday, the state Senate is slated to vote on a package of 15 bills aimed at reducing gun violence. While in committee, the bills were approved mostly along party lines, with most Democrats in favor and Republicans opposed. PPAG's own Al Gaboro will be appearing on NJ Today, tonight at 6 p.m., to discuss the week in politics. You can watch Al on NJTV and WNET Channel 13. For more information, go to ppag.com. Have a great weekend.